ABC 7 business commentator Richard Stern joining us now and some good news for Wall Street. Green arrows across the board today. Green arrows across the board, although it's a little bit deceptive. The Dow was up by okay. 40 points. Sounds like a quiet day. Not really. Remember that word volatility? Well, the fact that the Dow finished up 39 points, don't judge a book by its cover. The Dow is down by 180 points after five minutes of trading this morning. Little by little, we crawled our way back and finished, uh, finished as I said, plus 40. But importantly, we were plus 104. So we had a 284 point intraday swing. Volatility is still here, but the arrows are pointed in the right direction, as Jacqueline just said. Let's take a look, and you'll see up arrows across the board. There the Dow, up 39 points, 16 one hundredths of 1%, one at 24,640.45 on volume of 644 million shares. The NASDAQ for the day was the biggest winner, up almost one half of 1%, 31 points at 7,013.51, that on volume of 1,802,000,000 shares. The S&P up as well up almost seven points, one quarter of one percent at 2,662.94. Well, those of us in the investment business always preach the importance of being diversified. Well, guess what? That goes for corporations as well. PepsiCo, I bet you're familiar with that company. There you see some of their products. PepsiCo announced better than expected sales and earnings, but surprise, surprise, they didn't get that better result because of PepsiCo, Mountain Dew, or even Tropicana from Bradenton. Yes, indeed, sales were down for those things. But they also own Doritos, a home run, Cheetos, another home run, and Lay's potato chips. So those three products had a bigger sales increase than the sugary drinks, as they say, had a sales decrease. As a result of that, their diversification paid off. The stock was up briefly today, up by a little bit, but the bottom line is if they had only been in the business of soda and water and orange juice, they would have posted a loss. Instead, they posted a gain. Very, very important. You also have some uh, positive news on Under Armour today. Richard. I think both of you have been out shopping because, frankly, Under Armour has been having its share of problems lately, but today they announced much better than expected revenues. The stock was up by 16%. That's a big move. Wow. It is. Okay, Richard, thanks. You're very welcome.